Hey folks, thanks for joining. Paul here. In today's video, you're going to explain how we decided to buy this CNC machine. It is a CNC machine. It's called the Long Mill and it's coming from a company called CNC Labs. And we had a criteria, uh, I guess five criteria that we wanted to ensure it met before we make it, made a decision. We looked at a number of other type of CNC, well-known brands versus maybe not so well-known brands. And we, we did our checks and balances and uh, this is the one we ended up choosing. It may not meet the needs for you if you are in the, in the market of buying a CNC machine. This is a benchtop CNC machine because obviously you can go, you know, way out in budget in regards to full size, four by eight sheet, vacuum beds and all that kind of stuff, of course. Definitely not in that level. This is really entry level cnc uh, market. So just keep that in mind. And, uh, you know, again, if you're in the market, we hope that just sharing our experience and our decisions might help you make your decisions and maybe help you get the right machine for your needs. And if you do find this video to be helpful, then why not hit the like button down below. Thanks. Now let's get into those five criteria of why we decided to buy this CNC machine. All right, so the first criteria that we wanted to make sure we check off is the size, because we've seen so many, we were looking at so many on the internet, and some of them are so small, they're about yay big by yay big, with this whole contraption right there, and it just moves a couple inches every which way. We knew for sure that wasn't what we wanted, <laughs> and uh, then we saw, it came along with this one, there's a few other ones in this range as well. This one has a cutting area of 30 inches by 30 inches. Now, the, the footprint is a little bit, lo it's a bit wider, of course, because you have the rails on the side that need to be placed, and they're a little bit extra front and back so your 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 width of the workstation does have to be bigger than the 30 by 30 of course so i'll uh, show images here on the screen of what is recommended for for this layout we went with 48 by 48 i just took a sheet of plywood and cut it 48 inches and uh, that way it gives us a little bit extra room to put a few things i would like to get I get some we're going to be setting up a little bit differently with the computer and so forth later on this is just a temporary setup that we have but yeah it's nice to have this large setup and with this with this model you can make your own base you can set this up any which way you want we have our spoiler board with t-tracks uh, in between and it works well with our, uh, our little uh, cheap <laughs> cheap clamps here i do have links for these uh t-bar um tighteners which work really well really fast i just took a piece of plywood made a little notch I can add some pieces of wood here sometimes if I need to give a little good, if you want to give a good clamping strength, uh, just stick a little piece of wood under there and it really, once you tighten down on that, it really pulls down and I can probably cut the circulation off my finger there. But uh, yeah, works well with that, but definitely the cutting area was our main concern and 30 by 30 definitely meets our needs so far. Uh, we do mostly width um, than depth, so so far definitely haven't been using the back part, but I'm sure we'll have projects down the line where we will want to use the full extent of that 30 by 30 inch. So again, it may not be your need, but for us it was definitely a selling point. So let's move on to reason number two. So the second criteria that we had for deciding on this CNC machine, we wanted something that would look durable and that was simple in design as well. And when we saw this one, we, we really liked the look of it. First thing for durability, one of the things that we read a lot about is those that are belt driven instead of screw lead screw or screw drives is that the belts become loose or stretched or break <laughs> and uh, so they don't last as long as the you know the screw drives are not as precise either so this one we like because it does have the screw drives in all all three directions in the x y z directions the only belt that is on here is the drive from the motor to the screw drive for the z axis so there's a little belt here so that's the only belt that's there and it shouldn't be getting loose you know and there is a way of tightening it as well so it, but it's not driving the whole mechanism itself which would have been a lot of weight on a belt um, with the screwdriver it works well simple design 
These things are actually open source 3D printed brackets. So if they ever break, uh, you can actually get the open source um, plans for that. If you have a 3D printer, you can make your own pieces. There's a few other pieces that are 3D as well that you can uh, print off. So another advantage of getting the long mail from CNC Labs. Criteria number three, we wanted something that was going to be easy to set up. We didn't want to spend weeks trying to set it up uh, and get it working. And I should say CNC Labs have an excellent website, step-by-step -step instructions on how to put this together. The box that it came in was all labeled. Every box, every part, or all the different parts were all labeled and really easy to find. Of course, it does still take time because if you're following the instruction and you're looking for the right bag and the right step and all of that, so it does take time that way. But it wasn't a matter of trying to figure things out. It was really clear. So it's just a matter of taking your time, going step by step, find the bag, put it together, and move on. Now, I would, I would say for making the base and making and getting everything together, I would give yourself a full day just to get everything up and running to a point as up and running. Then setting up the computer and figuring out the software, that can take a long, a much longer time because uh, if you haven't done 3D CAD or anything like that, it's going to be a learning curve on using the software. We we bought VCarve. We'll get into another video about that later on, but because there are free versions and there are paid versions. So, uh, and even within the paid versions, there are standard and pros and, and things. Uh, you know those different levels that are important to know about as well so we'll have to make a whole video about that later on but for ease of setup of the actual layout of the machine uh, give yourself a date which i think is reasonable and the nice thing about setting it up yourself instead of having maybe coming in a, that it comes into a box and it just sets on the nice thing about having to put it together yourself you know exactly what every part does and how it works so that if it ever does something does break down you'll know why because it's again with the simplicity of the design it's easy to know where your problem might be if something doesn't work right so so that's another reason why we went with the long mill okay criteria number four uh we wanted something that was somewhat local or north american anyways we just with experience of buying some equipment, especially when it comes to more um, complex systems, we want something that was going to be uh, breaking down after a few months. So we want something North American. And Logmail and the CNC Labs, they're actually fairly local for us in the sense that they're in the same province as us. I think they're in Waterloo. We're in Ottawa. So it was just, uh, you know, basically down the street. If we wanted to, we could have driven over there and gotten it ourselves. But uh, it's uh, it'll be about a four hour drive from here. Could have been a nice day trip, I suppose. But yeah, so it's a locally made company and uh, the service was great. Good communication. Delivery was when it was expected. They, they sent emails saying, you know, telling you when your, your order was ready to go and was being shipped. So really good, clear communications. And again, uh, the nice thing when it came in the box, everything was labeled properly and one box, it was, it was beautiful. So, and the great advantage being local. Again, we know where they're located. We could actually drive down there if we really had to, if we had to get a part or something like that. But anytime we've had to, we ordered some extra bits and some other things and it was shipped here by the next day. So it's great. Okay, so reason number five, and it's probably <laughs> it's probably going to be the reason number one for many people. It actually was for us as well, and that's the price. This unit here, we actually got it on sale just before Christmas. It was on sale for fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, the original price, I think, was seventeen fifty. Again, don't quote me on that. I'll probably show you a <laughs> picture on the on the website, but it was seventeen. I think it was seventeen eighty or seventeen fifty, somewhere in that range. For this unit now that unit that price doesn't include the router so if you had a router then there's not gonna be any charge we added a router to it just to make it easy so we didn't have to go out and buy one and we wanted to make sure that it was one that's gonna fit in here as well so we just bought the router through them we bought some bits and we also bought the uh the uh the vacuum shoe as well it goes on by magnet just goes on there your vacuum hose on there so we bought that as well so those were extra charges 
But yeah, fifteen hundred dollars for a machine that you can start doing your work. Oh yeah, we also bought the uh, the zero plate as well, the touch plate for the for zeroing it in. Um, but yeah, so fifteen hundred dollars plus tax here in Canada, of course, thirteen percent add thirteen percent to that here. It's it was a good value even with the taxes <laughs> compared to other ones that we've seen where. You know, you're in the range of about 2,000, 2,500, sometimes all U.S. dollars as well for us. That would mean another, you know, exponentially up higher in price. Um, so coming in at 1,500 for Canadian dollars, it was a good deal for us. So that's one of the reasons why we went with this one. Again, for that size of, of cutting area at 1,500, it wasn't, it was kind of, and then, then seeing all the other pluses that checked off our, our you know, had our check marks for all the other criteria definitely made it uh, a sale for us because we've seen other ones that were so much smaller in, in footprint even local woodworking shops here have have uh, brands that are, are from smaller now they do have the whole table and everything and it's really you know you don't see the wires and things like that sure it's really nice but i'm not willing to pay you know i think it was for something this size, you're probably we were getting close to about five thousand or six thousand dollars to have a machine about this size uh, with our local woodworking um, supplier, and so yeah, and that was definitely going to be out of our budget, so we weren't going in that direction whatsoever. <laughs> so we went with this one, and again, so far we love it. It's been working well. If anything. It's more of us learning, it's a learning curve about the software. We were able to, after about an hour making a design, we were able to make a you know cool little sign in about a few minutes. So uh, it's been well worth it. So we hope that this uh, video helps you in, again, just help, you know, understanding the some of the differences. You'll see, again, the main one is the screw drive, I think, versus the belt drive. I'd say that's one of the first things for me anyways is a, it was a selling point that it wasn't belt drive because uh, I was always worried about belts and I've read people say that were you know they had issues with the belts becoming loose or stretched and never breaking so we wanted to avoid that altogether so when we saw this one that was one of the major main selling parts again it's very simple like that cutting area perfect and uh, price and being local so Met all those, made all those points, and uh, so far so good. So we hope to get some more videos down the line. Of course, we could again, as I mentioned, we'll do some about the software and the differences there. We'll show you some of the designs that we have made on here, and we'll hopefully make some more videos of uh, some interesting projects that we hope to do down the line, and we can share them with you. You know, because once we make the uh, the plans on our software we can always share them uh, on our website so we hope to do that and, and of course if you found this video to be helpful why not subscribe to our channel and uh and hit the like button and we hope to see you here again at the dusty workbench so we'll talk later bye-bye <laughs>